Welcome to the first Battleford tutorial. I'll show you today what's needed to play out a card and how you conquer resources. This is a typical starting point in Battleforge. The only things that you need to play out a card are pretty basic. So we have some power generators over here and a monument over here, and that's all the starting resources you need to play out a card. On each card, whether it's a unit, a building, or a spell, the power you need to summon this card is displayed in the upper right corner. In Battleforge, you'll find power generators spread at strategically important points within the scenarios. To conquer one of those, it's very easy. So we summon a squad of bugs and then send them to the next power generator. And all you need to do, as long as there's no enemy, you need to click on the on-screen action button or the detail view action button, and it's ours. Besides power generators, there are monuments in Battleforge. These monuments grant you orbs. And these orbs are needed to play out stronger cards. For instance, this guy only needs one orb in order to play him out. But the more orbs you have, the more powerful cards you can play out. So on the border of the screen, you see another monument that's protected by some enemies. What we do, we enforce our army now to get rid of those guys and take over the monument. So we play out a couple of more thugs, as well as some archer guys, the Sunstriders, and send them over. So in Battleforge, there's no base building, so you can play out cards anywhere close to your own structures or friendly units, which gives the game a more dynamic feeling. So you can, you know, when you're in battle, you can play out cards anywhere you like. After we get rid of those enemies, we can now take over the second monument. We just click on it and then select the power of the orb that we want. In our case, we choose red for fire, since we only have fire cards in our deck. The orb needs a little bit of time to build up. In the meanwhile, enemies are approaching us so we need to defend us. We have a very nice and handy eruption spell in our deck that we can use to hold the enemies back. Very handy. Now that our second orb is built up, we have access to more powerful cards, like the Enforcer, for instance. Enforcer! Lunch time! The most powerful cards in Battleforge need up to four orbs in order to unleash them into battle. But how that looks like and how that works, we'll show you in the next tutorial.